is a byproduct of what you see. Second question I'm going to reflect on today. When you look at yourself, who do you see? When you look at yourself as a person running this business, who do you see? Who are you as a person running this business? Now, the mistake is that most people think that they are a body with spirits, right? That's, you cannot be further from, I mean, that's, that is absolutely not correct. In Actually, what you are is that you are a spirit in a body. That's what you are. As a human being, you're a spirit being, right? And I'll prove that to you. You see, after God made man, after God created man, there was no life in man, right? Until God breathed life into him. The spirit animates the body. It is important you understand because some people say, why are you going metaphysical right now? It is important you understand that you are spirit first. If you don't understand that you are spirit first, then you won't be able to reach your potential as the human being God has created. And the potentials and the capacity and possibilities for you in this business will only continue to remain vague. You will not see it, you will not attain it, right? So I ask that question again. Who do you see when you look at yourself in this business? We are talking about transferring beliefs, right? The creation story tells us who you really are, right? And how powerful you are and the mandates that you are meant to satisfy. When God created the world, God said, let there be birds of the air. Let there be fishes in the water. Let there be animals on the land. But when God created you, God did not say, let there be. God summoned his divinity. God said, let us make man in our own image and likeness. Let him have dominion over all the world. Right? He said, be fruitful, multiply Fill the earth and subdue it. That's the mandate. That's the divine mandate. Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. God made you to be like him. God made you to be a co-creator. God made you to be powerful. You are an embodiment of power. You are an embodiment of possibilities. You are an embodiment of hope, of goodness, of capacity that God has put in you to dish out to others. And yes, because you face challenges in this business, you reduce yourself to be smaller than you really are. You look at the problems you are facing and based on those problems, guess what you do? You begin to act small. That is not who you are. God made you to be powerful, right? You see, the devil was able to deceive man, right? By making him believe that he lacked godly attributes. That was what the devil did. Adam's first sin was not disobedience. No. People say that Adam ate the apple and blah, blah, blah. No. The first sin Adam committed was not disobedience. Gentlemen and ladies, the first sin Adam committed was calling God a liar. Right? And I will tell you how he did that. When God made man, God made man in his own image and life with God in the garden. So Adam was aware that God made him in his image and likeness. God made him like him. But he felt God lied to him. And that is why he gave him to be more like God. And because Adam felt God was lying to him, that he made him like him, yet here is this guy telling him, the apple will make you more like me, more like God. Adam decided to eat the apple, thereby calling God a liar. Adam was already like God. He never needed the apple to be like God because he was already created to be like God. And the reason I brought this up is because this is still the most effective script used by the devil today. The devil makes you feel that you don't have power and you don't have control. For each time this happens, I want you to remember who you are. Remember who you are. Your nature as a, your nature as a person fabricated by God, fabricated in the image and the likeness of God, is power in itself. You have what it takes to transform your life. You have what it takes to transform your business. You have what it takes to win in this business. What that means is that you have everything to win. 
in. The divine mandate of being a conqueror is in you. And you need to realize that. So I want all of you to go to the chat room now. And in the chat room, I want you to type out, I am worthy of success, right? I am worthy of success in 2022. Type it down. I am worthy of success. Type that down in, in the chat room, right? Then also type down in the chat room, I am fabricated for greatness. You need to know who you are. You are, you are not a nobody. You are not a mistake. You are a divine design, right? You need to type in the chat room, I am fabricated for greatness. Also type there in the chat room, I am unstoppable. Type it out there in the chat room, I am unstoppable. And I want you to round, down, round up your typing by typing up, I am a champion, right? I am a champion. When you realize who you are, nothing can stop you, right? When the devil begins to play the Asian game that fell Adam with you, call him out and let him know that you will not fall the second time, right? Adam fell once, you will not fall the second time. You are a divine construct with a mandate to go dominate the world and subdue it. Don't perform less. Don't let anybody think, make you think you are small. Your mission on earth is not to play small. God does not play small. You should not play small, right? Now, I'm going to run this up by letting you know something. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Or does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. It is, it is in all of us, right? Not just in some of us. And as you let your light shine, as we talk, we are consciously give others permission to do the same, as we are liberated from our own fears, our presence automatically begins to liberate others too. Gentlemen and ladies, what is in front of us in 2022 is an amazing year, right? It is the year God has given to us to take. 2022 is a brand new 12 months waiting to be taken. If you want to sleep, my God, everybody will leave you and move, right? This bike is on high speed. Don't sleep on this moving bike. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being with us. Dr. Mba, back to you. God bless you all. I wish you guys a profound and amazing 2022. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Wow, wow. I, I forgot to mention it. Yunguk, you, you have to cut that soup for me. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I hope you are getting so much. I hope you are getting so much. I hope you are getting so much today. And um, we are building it. If that's what we are doing here today. The next person I'm bringing up stage is going to build your mind. Okay, it's going to build your mind. Uh, it's the first lady that we're presenting today. And an Amazon ambassador, Pa Essenes. And um, Ladies and gentlemen, help me make welcome Ambassador Ronke Kushemani as she dishes out what she has prepared for us for this morning. Ambassador Ronke, where are you, ma? I'm here. I'm here. Wow, Thank you. you look beautiful this morning. Thank you very much, my Paddy. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I'm super excited to be here. I hope you can see me. If you can hear me and you can see me, go to the comments and say, I can hear you. I can see you. Okay, quickly, quickly, so that I know that we're together if you can hear me you can see me go to the comments and say i can hear you and i can see you so that i'm sure that we are together okay now i'm going to be taking another dimension okay i know that um the men who have come before me the great men they've been talking about you know greatness how far technology has come and all that i am coming to take another perspective and today i am going to talk about enjoyment yes i'm going to talk about enjoyment and some of you are like ah what are you saying yes because the truth of the matter is that the main reason I joined Situ one fg was to enjoy myself. The main reason why I registered was that I was tired of where I was and I wanted a change. The main reason why I registered was that I didn't I did want to continue in the direction I was going. I was working hard and salary was not enough. And many of you may, may know my story, but I'm going to bring another angle to it. Salary was never enough. And I said, what do I do to be successful? I look for everything. I've never been afraid of working, of working hard. And I found this amazing business. Now, I hear some of you saying, eh, it's only... Look at the 
drop that meat money. That is a lie from the pit of hell. I'm glad that uh, Ambassador Kelechi has handled something. It's a lie. They pulled that jolly business two years ago and they're living their best life. Three years ago, four years ago, one year ago, and they're living their best life. What took us six years? This year, we're going to be six years in La Buena Vida. I hope that we do a party. We're going to be six years. What took us six years to accomplish doesn't have to take you six years. It can take you three years or two years if you follow our footsteps. So I'm going to be talking about my topic today. I just have a few minutes, so I just have nine minutes now. Our topic is, it can be you. If it happened for me, it can happen for you. I'm going to take you a little down memory lane. This was me in 2016. On the day that we had the, the Own Your Life campaign launch, those who are JJCs, we started by calling ourselves Own Your Life campaign. We regarded success, and then we became La Buena Vida. 2016, on that day, I was a 23-year-old young girl. 23-year-old, yes. I'm not 30 yet. 23 year old young girl, lots of dreams, lots of goals, lots of, I was confused. I joined the business. I did not know how far I was going to go. I did not know if I was going to succeed, but I knew that people are doing it, people are succeeding, I'm going to do it. Guess what? My first one week in the business, there was no IPO. Some of you here, you come in, we do IPO, we do QSG. When I started, there was no IPO, there was no QSG, there was nothing. Operation, sort yourself out. But I found a way. I was invited like a madman. My first one week, nobody registered. Second week, nobody registered. Third week, nobody. 30 days in this business, not one soul registered. Yes. Hey, not one soul. And I will say the likes of uh, uh, Ambassador Ifai, Ambassador of, um, Kelechi, um, Ambassador Vincent and the rest of them. I will see them in the office and people are joining their business. I was happy for them, but I was saying, what is with me. Why are people not joining my business? I was very, very sad. But I kept on doing what I needed to do. And on the 31st day, on the 31st day in my business, one person registered and then two and three and four and I'm talking to you today. Imagine if I had quit because nobody joined my first 30 days. Imagine. Just imagine. I'll not be here talking to you. Move on to 2017. Life began to be better. I started making some money in the business. You can see me there looking very young. I joined this at age 23. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at me there, Alliance Office. I went to go and clear products. I was always in Alliance Office. You can see me there looking very skinny. Okay? I had worked hard, worked hard, and I kept on doing the grind. I started seeing small, 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 small money, but I kept on putting it back into the business and grinding my business. And guess what? By the following year, 2018, life started making sense. Some of you are here, I understand. You are making money. Ah, you are making 500 one million. You are making money, but you are not seeing the money in your body. I understand. Because the money you make as a business owner, listen to me, I'm sure you've not heard it before. The money you make as a business owner, everything should not be eaten by you. Money of it will be plugged back into the business. I'm going to say this again. If somebody earns one million as a salary earner, and somebody earns one million as a business owner, the money is not the same. Because the salary earner is not paying rent. The salary earner is not putting their money back into the business. They will eat it all. But we have to put our money back. So even though I started making some money, I wasn't seeing it yet. On the 2018, bam, life started making sense. What happened? We had gone on our first international vacation. Like I said, I joined because I am an enjoyment officer by bed. But poverty made me not an enjoyment officer. 2018, we went on our first vacation. We had a fantastic time. You can see some of the leaders there. We had the time of our life. And life started making sense. But let me bring it down to the future because I only have a few minutes to go. So I cannot take you to my memory lane. Last year, I woke up and I said, 2020, COVID came and stole my joy. So this 2021, I am going to go on four international vacations. One, two, three, four. Yes, I said it. I told you I'll take a different perspective, an enjoyment perspective. And people thought I was crazy. Wrong, how can you say you do travel to four places in this economy? In this, I said, watch, watch me and see. And it started happening. 2021, the first vacation was the Maldives, okay? And luckily for me, I went to my sweetheart, Didi Nwala, okay, Amazon ambassador, Didi. We went together to the Maldives. We had a fantastic time. Vacation, good time, enjoyed ourselves, chilled, you know? And then I said, that's number one out of four. Guess what? The next one was Egypt. I've been hearing of Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. I said, let me go and see that Egypt that people are talking about. And I went there. And this time I went with one of my leaders, Ambassador Lola. Now, the beauty of this business is that when you are enjoying yourself, you enjoy yourself with your team. That's the beauty of this business. Are you following? So we went to Egypt. We had a fantastic time. We had a good time, you know, enjoyed ourselves. We stayed, went to three different cities, ate luxury food. We were, oh my God, I can't explain the experience. If you are here and you know you are destined for enjoyment, 
Go to the comments and see, I am destined for enjoyment. Go to the comments and see. We had a fantastic time. We laughed up there. Guess what? I went to seashells. I just woke up and said, okay, why don't I take my, my brother, my mom, and my daughter on vacation? No, no, spouse, just me, my daughter, and my mom, and my brother. I flew my brother from UK. You can imagine, flew him from UK to seashells, went to seashells myself with my mom and all, and we had a fantastic time. You don't understand. On a Monday morning, I was taking this picture. I was on, the, there's some pictures I cannot show you because I don't want to pepper you people too much. But I want you to understand that if it can happen for me, a 23-year-old girl that was confused, no connection. I didn't know anybody. I didn't, I didn't know anybody. I, didn't, I don't have any special skills. If you bring one big calculation for me, I cannot do it. My teammates know. I don't really know mathematics. But it doesn't matter because this business is no respecter of person. If you come and you follow what we told you to do, you follow our mentorship, you, anything you want to achieve went to Zanzibar. I did not follow them. They went to Zanzibar. Oh, you know, Zanzibar Island had a, had a fantastic time. Many of these people have never traveled out of the country before. You see, for me, the biggest benefit is not just chopping life, because I like to chop life. But the fact that while you are chopping life, you have other people in your team that are chopping life with you. If you work in the bank, even if you own a bank, you cannot make your employees chop life. Even if you have a big factory and you're paying people staff, you cannot allow your people to chop life. But in this business, this is, you can chop life and you can allow your downlines to chop life with you. And it is a, a, it is a, oh God, it is a generation of people chopping life together. I'm sorry, but this is just my perspective, okay? And guess what? I went to Egypt a second time, but this time with many of my teammates, many of them. I said, no, Egypt is too sweet. You guys need to come and see this Egypt. And they came. Another thing I'm going to say, many of them have never traveled out of the country before. Many of them wanted to leave Nigeria for greener pastures to go and do different things and all that. But they stayed put in the business and they were rewarded. They qualified for the all expense paid to the travel. None of them paid for their trip. Let me shock you. If you stay in this business and you are consistent and you do what you're supposed to do, the line will get to you. Before you know it, it will be your turn. And those things you're supposed to achieve, you begin to achieve them. Are you following, okay? And then, like I always say, this year, this 2022, we would achieve the things that we said we never would. We will achieve the things that we said we never would. I have one minute more, and I'm going to end with this. Last year, um, December, like, towards the end of last year, my team, we did a party, okay? We did a, and, um, and we played a game where I told them, everybody should come and say what they will do when they eventually blow, what they will do with them, La Buena Vida Money and all that. And everything they were saying, they want to build their own house, they want to help their parents, they want to travel, they want to buy cars. Everything they were saying, I did not know what to say because everything they were saying has already happened to me and happened to a lot of people in La Buena Vida. What do I mean by that? It means that any dream you have, any goal you have, anything you want to achieve, as far as money is concerned, this business can do it for you. I love you very much. God bless you. See you at the top. Ambassador uh, Dr. Elijah Amba, kindly take over from here. Thank you. Wow, 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 that was an uh, chop life gang. You see, this year is my year of chop life, you know. Uh, I, I'll, I'll collect the button from you today, this year. That's it, did four different locations this year, definitely by God's grace. As far as the Lord is on the throne, four different locations will be confirmed. To the Laboda Villa project, my people, and uh, what's possible, what we do. Uh, I'll just share something very briefly before I bring up the next person, uh, very, very briefly. I remember when I saw this opportunity for the first time, I've always followed rich people. You know, I've followed rich people on their, uh, on their, the lifestyle of rich people, you know. I always go online, who are the top, top richest people in the world? Who are the top social and so richest people in the world? And I kept doing that. And I see the kind of lifestyle we're living. One of those days, one of my consultants in uh, UNT just walked into me. I was looking at this, you know, registrar. Walked into me, I was watching a video of the boy Jarara, it was just so beautiful. It's a guy, shut that thing down, you're never going there. And I'm like, wow, okay. I started looking around, looking at all my guys and saw that uh, this was not possible. And then the frustration came and I eventually just settled, you know, went to school to study medicine because he told us go to school, get a degree and you, um, 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 uh, work for money, one day you are going to become financially free. So the reason why I studied medicine was because I wanted to be very, very comfortable. But one day, as I kept doing this, I saw those that have gone ahead of me, 10, 20 years ahead of me. They could not 
too much. I saw them struggling even today. I will visit any hospital around you. Now look at the best cars there. They're not owned by the doctors. And um, I was frustrated. So when I saw this, wow, the next Next question was, can it happen for me? This business has been on for five years. Before I even saw it, can it happen for me? And I believed in the belief of those that were, have gone ahead of me. I said, if it could happen for these persons, it could happen for me. The very month I signed up, I, I got connected. I think that month, uh, Ambassador Ronke, she, of course, she would not know this. She made a million dollars. I think that's the month she made her first million dollars in a month. And it circulated everywhere. And as I saw it, I saved it somewhere. Body and beautiful this body. Gracias, uh, gracias. Is All it right. beautiful or awesome or awesome or handsome? Well, businesses, um, on all the opportunities, why this business? I mean, you guys started in 2016. Um, you've been there, so there's not nothing for us again. I mean, if you if you use the the, the law of uh <clears throat> I mean, you've signed up everybody. Look at your ambassador now, look at you. You sign up everybody uh, in your team. Um, uh, Ambassador Victor have signed up everybody in your team. Even Ambassador Ronke. I mean, she has a lot of people. Around it. So, who will be in my team? Ladies and gentlemen, the truth of the matter is this that the day I attended this presentation, the first day before I started, people made those statements. People made those same statements that M Global started in 2012. This is 2016. But all those top ones, top two, they've signed up everybody now. Ah, I beg, let me look for another new company. So people started joining, um, what's the name of this one? Longreach. People started joining, there's another one, Organo Gold, because those ones were relatively new. So they were looking for new things. But when we saw this as a team. I first of all saw it individually, as an individual, but then we took a look at it as a team because Ambassador Mike saw something different. He he more or less got a revelation from God and said to us that God spoke to him that we are on an assignment. And the assignment is not for us to make money. Our, the assignment is for us to raise financially stable leaders who will in turn raise financially stable leaders. And in the contemplation of the moment, it was revealed to him that this business is the vehicle. We did not understand, but we keyed in. Hmm. I have less than eight minutes. And in this eight minutes, I'm going to shock you what drives us into blessings and success 
in just eight minutes. Now, stay with me now, because I'm going to share my screen. My goodness. Wherever you think you are in life, it is only a matter of understanding the belief you follow and pursuing it, understanding what backs up your vision. Just share with my family. Hold on a second. Let me share my screen. Let me share my screen quickly. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the key now is what is belief? What is belief? What do you believe in? I may ask you, what do you believe in? And the next question would be, okay, what is belief? Because if you don't understand one of the things that is bringing us to success, it will be a struggle. Guys, we didn't start in global business in 2012. We started in 2016. So you, I need you to pause a little bit and ask yourself a question. Why are these guys succeeding? Number one. Number two, can I be part of those who are succeeding? I will show you the secret if you want to be part of those who are succeeding. Because many have come and many have gone. Many started with me, my friends, in 2016, and they are not here today. And out of humility, I'm going to be very humble in saying this, and this is not to degrade anybody because I'm not going to call anybody's name. But 2020, I literally fed those friends that started with me in 2016 and they abandoned the business for some of them went to another network marketing business. Some of them went back to perdition to Egypt, continued what they were doing before. Some of them don't have jobs again. I literally fed them during COVID-19. Send 100,000 here, 80,000 here, 120,000 here. When I gave 200,000 to pay me back to today, hasn't paid back. Why did they start this business with me? And they did not finish with me. And yet still, even though they were thinking negatively about the business, I stuck in the business and I still became successful in the business. Why? We're going to raise 50,000 monthly millionaires regardless, whether you accept it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether you are in tune or not. It is sacrosanct because we have positioned ourselves to be part of the people that will make it happen. The only thing is, how do you position yourself to be part of those who are making 50,000, a part of the 50,000 people or members or partners who are making a million and above every month? How are you going to be part of that? Belief. So what is belief? First of all, by definition, belief is sacrifice and acceptance that something exists or is true, especially one without proof. So you are sacrificing the acceptance. is a sacrifice of accepting that something exists or is true, especially one without proof. You believe in Jesus. You believe in God. Have you seen him before? Have you seen Jesus before? That's belief. Belief can also be said to be trust, faith, or confidence in someone or something. Someone or something. Something or some business. Trust, faith, and confidence. Trust, faith, and confidence. But especially towards one that there is no, ladies and gentlemen, we started this business, there was no proof. But we believed in the business. I'm going to show you why we believed in the business. Because it was an express, listen, it was an express instruction that came to us via the entrepreneur mentor. And it was evident. I mean, I've been friends with him, and I know that he, he doesn't, he's a jolly good fellow, though. 
But when he speaks, he speaks from a place of inner abundance. So when he mentioned the word that this would deliver us, but not for us to make money, but for us to impact a people and a generation, I say, I believe. Even though there was nothing to say that M Global would deliver in this, Organo Gold had more paparazzi than M Global. Guys, go and check it now. In 2016, there was Organo Gold. Uh, let me say it again. <clears throat> you know Holton Boggs. If you're in this business and you don't know Holton Boggs, excuse me, go and do your research properly. You're not doing enough research in the network marketing in industry. Holton Boggs was one of my distant mentors in network marketing. I've seen his work. I had seen everything about him. It was, it, to me, there was a connection between me and him. In the metaverse, amen? For those of you who know what that is. His story resonated with me. I connected with him. Holton Bog is more like a brother to me in my head. And lo and behold, his business was organo gold. At the time, it had, had no part two. These guys were brandishing Rolls Royce, Bentleys in their teams as if it was Kekena uh, Pep. Am I communicating? And there was that organo gold in Nigeria. And people left me in my team, 2016, and left for organo gold. Why did I remain? There was no paparazzi in Emblem. In fact, in Emblem, people were buying the Hondas, people were buying uh, Mr. Bushy, even in Philippines, you know, little supercars. Believe. Ah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. We enter this business with the belief that we are going to run with the word. And that word was, we're going to be conduits to help to raise a generation of financially stable leaders who will in turn raise another generation of financially stable leaders. And if the instruction said it will happen with M Global, we're good to go. And M Global is, didn't just start immediately. So that made it a bit tougher. There was no proof without proof. So we sacrificed the acceptance that M Global would deliver what God said it would deliver, even though there was no proof. We trusted, we had faith, and we had confidence. And we entered. So can we flip it? I'm going to flip it. Because for you, some of you started because you saw and you believed. How do you strengthen belief when there is evidence? Hmm? When there is evidence. Therefore, if you are here, let me give you some evidence. In case you are thinking of running away, let me give you evidence. Number one, M Global started in 2012. We started in 2016 and we took over. In just five years, 95% of the top 20 earners in M Global are from our team, Central to One Freedom Group family, 95%. Where are the other ones who started in 2012? Where are they? Think about it. We are the first team to have its members launch luxury cars across board. First team in Africa, in the history of network marketing. We're not talking about one person, oh, only Ambassador Mike is driving a Mercedes. We have members driving Mercedes, driving BMWs, driving Porsches, driving um, Maseratis. By this year, next year, you will see, begin to see Lamborghinis, begin to see the Ferraris and the Bentleys and the Rolls Royce. You're going to begin to see that because we are in the habit of calling for things that be not as though they are. Am I communicating? You are in the midst of visionaries and dangerous leaders. So if you are here, be here. Now listen, listen, it's not, it's not, I'm showing you evidence. What strengthens belief is evidence. So I'm showing you. We are the first team to feed 5,000 families in the whole of Nigeria. People that started before us in 2012 have not done so. They've not done so. Please guys, listen to me. 
It's not about one person making money. We have a deluge of members who have risen the ranks and making millions, and we can't stop. Or you want evidence to strengthen your belief, I will show you more. We are the first team to start sponsoring downlines for international trips. Other teams who started before us are waiting for M Global to take them on trips. But we said, no, 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 no. COVID or no, no, COVID, we must use our money. You see, you need to understand this. We don't owe anybody any trip. We don't. We, we all make no, but I mean, Century to One Freedom Group, don't pay us. Don't pay you, don't pay me. <laughs> if you're in any group, that group doesn't pay you. The company that pays is M Global. Therefore, if M Global doesn't organize any trip, my friend, be patient, wait for them. If any leader has taken you to any trip, sponsored you to any trip, it is his money, it is our money that was supposed to have been eaten. I was supposed to have chopped that money myself. But leaders now drew back and said, no, the, the, the essence of our existence is not to be rich. The essence of our existence and blessing is for others to draw others to a place of riches and abundance, train them, and also in turn make them, mandate them, my goodness, to raise their own leaders who will enter into a place of abundance and riches. Therefore, if that is our mandate, then that money would have eaten, okay? Let us carry it and empower some other people. Let them travel and see what you see, even though uh, Alliance Emotion have not packaged another trip. Let us package for ourselves to empower our people. Are you understanding why we are succeeding on a magnificent level and we are unstoppable? Are you beginning to understand that? So in case you think going to another network marketing or going to other places is the way, there are ways that seem good, but the end is destruction thereof. You need to be moved by vision. Now, as I close, let me, not, let me not tell you why we're blessed, actually, so that you know whether you're going to be part of the 50,000 people who are going to be, whether you quit this business, let me also say this, you are not mandated to remain here. Mm -mm. If your spirit does not agree with the assignment of the house, with the vision of the house, to raise stable, financially stable leaders who would also in turn raise financial, financially stable leaders. If your vision is not in tandem, there's not in connection with that, please leave. You are not mandated. Please, I say this with every iota of importance. Leave today, but don't leave in an acrimonious manner. Talk to your leader. See, my vision doesn't align with what you people are doing. I want to just leave, okay? Just allow me. Let me go to long reach. There's even a short reach that is coming out. It is short, short reach, yes. It is shorter than long reach. I want to go there and start from the beginning. Please, your leader will bless you and release you to go. It doesn't have to be fight, okay? But if you are here, let me show you what will take you to being part of those 50,000 members who are making a million, even as others are going to other places. They are not saying that other, excuse me, I told you that my mentor is in, was in Organa Gold, all right? So it doesn't mean that this is the only business that would lead you to making money. So if you want to make money, please, you can identify a good network marketing business and go there. But if you want to be in, Impactful. If you want to be a man and a woman of substance, who eternity would revert to and show that you, if not for you, this lineage of generation would not have been successful. You're in the right place. But let me show you why we are blessed. John 20, 29. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed, blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed? Jesus said to him, because you have seen me, you have believed. But blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. 
Some of you are waiting to see your, your uplines DTC before you believe. You're waiting to see Ambassador Mike's income, his alert, before you believe. Why do you think they call him Doubting Thomas? Jesus said, no problem. You saw and you believed. It's okay. I might show you me. I might show you my alert. And you believe. It's okay. But blessed are those who what? Who have not seen and they believe. This is why we are blessed. When we entered, we started this, we did not see anybody who was driving the kind of cars we're driving today, a Maserati, a Porsche. We didn't see that. We didn't see abundance. We didn't see anybody that has the kind of abundance we're having today, but we believe in the word. And that word was instructional and divine because we believed without seeing mm, the blessings followed us. See, it's not by God, God. Guys, listen to me because I, my time is up. If you do plenty gragra in this business, you will be boycotted. Boycotted, the word is boycotted. But if you want blessings to follow you in this business, I've shared the vision, I've shared the belief system, and I've shared what strengthens your belief. Because this young man you're looking at here was in abject dejection. Poverty was a, 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 a secondary statement. My second middle name was poverty, even though I didn't come from a poor background. But when my father died, I began to smell what poverty was. But see, I didn't allow that poverty state to block my mind because I was reading. And I understood what vision was. And when I heard and I saw vision, I aligned to it. And because I aligned to it, the principles that cover visions began to work for me. And today I'm a billionaire. Somebody say amen. Come on now, say amen for me now. Is it easy? See, the billionaire status you see today is not for my personal engrandizement. The billionaire status you see today is to help others become billionaires. Amen? Yes, it is to show you it is possible. That's all. The possibility of the vision. But please, don't wait to see evidence before you believe so that the blessing will follow you. God bless you, because this year is going to be a blessed year. Over to you, Dr. Mba. Wow, amazing, 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 amazing. Now, I'm going to do something very quickly for every one of us that is connected to this meeting. Before I bring up the next um, rock star that will be increasing this, um, um, increasing this stage today, I'll be doing something for you. I'm going to tell you what your future holds right now. I'm going to prophesy to you and tell you what you'll be seeing in the next five years, okay? If you want me to tell you, type, tell me in the chat room. Do it very quickly, type, tell me in the chat room. I'll be telling you where you will be in the next five years. In the next five years, you want to know? Yes, 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 you want to know, good. Look at those that are doing what you are doing, working where you're working. Look out for those that are five years older than you. They are already giving you your future. That's where you'll be in the next five years. Wherever you're working, look out for those that are 10 years older than you. They are already giving you your future. That's where you'll be in the next 10 years. No matter how you work, that's how you'll be. In the next 20 years, that's how you'll be. Okay? But decide to look inward. Look into this organization. Who are those that are 10 years older than you? Trust me, there's none. In this business, there's none. Highest you'll find, maybe uh, six years, if you just got started. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, six years, if you just got started. And um, five years, four years, three years older than you. Look at the future that you see with them. Is it not beautiful? Is it not amazing? Ladies and gentlemen, there's no better way. There's no better way. We'll have the best way. Uh, before I came in full time, I look at those that were working where I was working. Those are 20 years older than me, 25 years older. Most of them were still writing their down, so run to US, run to the UK, run to Canada. After 20, 25 years, no freedom inside. And I look at those that were just roughly one year and six months older than me here. They were driving the dream cars I've always dreamt of. And I said, no, you see this thing I'm saying is going to happen to me. And today, it is happening for me. So if you believe, it will also happen for you. Okay, you don't even need faith anymore. Faith is the evidence of substance of things, for evidence of things not yet seen. You have seen it already. You just need to believe that you too can enjoy 
this good guy. I'll be bringing up Steve, one of my very, very good mentors, the, the mastermind of the team, 730 uh, Ambassador Distant Wars. Where is this, sir? Uh? Ambassador, are you ready with us for us, sir? Uh? Yes, I am here. Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Good morning. 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 Can you hear me? I want you guys to see my face very well. Can you hear me? Okay. okay. Um, it's my pleasure to be here this morning with each and every one of you. Happy New Year to everyone. I'll be sharing my screen right away um, so that I can share with you some things that will help you take over 2022 and beyond. Okay. Um, I want to be sure you can see my screen as well. And this is very to be going to be very short in about 10 minutes. And I target it is it's it's better. What we do is actually better. It's not, there are many ways people make money, right? And there are many options that have always been there. So many alternatives that we can um, explore, so many things that some people are already exploring, right? But the reality is this, when you look at these options, call it your paid employment, you know, some people would say, eh, paid employment, if you have a very good job, or you have that job where you're a surgeon, Goodness. Yeah, they make a lot of money, a lot of money. But look at it also. Other alternatives we have. Are, but look at this. Say you get a job of 100 million, 100 million naira. What it means is that your supposed gain should be about 40 million. Now, the first question is this. I don't know how many bids you've submitted and how many 100 million contracts you have gotten already. I don't know because... Before I joined this business, I submitted, 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 submitted. We don't even know what happens. We only succeed at paying the big money. But let's say you are that lucky person. Because I, 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 I was really thrilled finding this to be very true. 40 million is what I'm going to make from this job of fund, right, Abby? But let's go further. With the way these contractors get these jobs, most of them I lent have to pay 25% of the contract sum before the job is even given to them. You didn't get this. Before they put your name, say, now you go do one. Like 25% go go for whatever, you know what I mean. 25%. Now that means about 25 million is gone up front. Up front, gone. And leaving us with a balance of how much? 15 million supposed profits. Ladies and gentlemen, you must pay tax now. This takes 13% of the contract sum. So when you remove that, what is left for you is what? How much? 2 million naira. And you carry the burden of a contract of 100 million. And guess what? You see a lot of jobs that can never be delivered. I asked the person telling me this. What kept on going in my mind? Like, what conscience person could use deliver job of 100 million where he has already spent all majority of the money in settling this, settling that, settling that? That's why a lot of projects will not go so well. And this is the lot they have to go through to make some small amount. He said, if you are lucky and they put it in your name and the person likes you and all the way, if you at the end, you make about 10%. I'm like, what? 
And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are. In Street 21 FG, what happens? One on the left, how much is somebody listening to me? One on the left is how much? Do you sort anybody to get one on the left? Do you sort anybody to have one on the right? Do you sort anybody to have one on the left, one on the right, the one in the center? What of the uni level step step and UPP? Do you do that? Everything is profit. Apart from the tax removed, which is standard for every income, every single thing, what of the vacations and the luxury cars? See, I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this business is one of the lasting hopes in a dwindling economy. Because look at it. Without being connected to anyone, without knowing who makes calls, whatever shots, ladies and gentlemen, we are not talking about the person you become in the process. The individual that it empowers you to become. And most importantly, the opportunity gives you to empower your world. I want to ask you a question very quickly. How was your 2021 Christmas like, just last Christmas? Was it what you anticipated in January? Was it, was it what you hoped for? I came across this and I want to share it with us. And after that, I'm going to say a word or two and close my talk with you. Let's watch this. This is a 50 cent, we know him, right? You can see my screen. Let's listen to what he said. How were your holidays? Happy, happy, happy new year and you got no presents? I got me presents. Like, so you took care of you? Yeah, yeah. What did so, you, I, I, if it's not, if it's okay, you gotta ask what you got you. I, I went car shopping, like, at the last minute. Oh, really? What did, yeah, you, what so did you? I got the, the new Ferrari 488. Uh, the, the, I don't even know that there was a new Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> and I got the Lamborghini Aventador. So you got a Ferrari and a Lamborghini. Yeah. You know you can't race yourself, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. And what else? And the Lamb, uh, the, what's the name, the Rolls Royce? So Thank just you. three cars, huh? That's all you got yourself for Christmas? I got the, the Dawn, the convertible Rolls Royce. You got two Rolls Royces? It was just, it just looked so good. I, I Ladies and gentlemen, the most interesting part of this video for me was this. He would, the cars just looked good and he got them. I tell you, if you are part of C21FG, running this business, and you can stay steadfast to your belief that these things can happen for you. Mark my word, before the end of 2022, going into 2023, before the deadline for us creating minimum of 50,000 multimillionaires, this will be your story. I saw these children and I paid their school fees because I felt like doing it. I saw this car, I felt like buying it and I got it. I, I decided, I felt like buying an airplane and I did it. And that's what it's going to be for you. Because I tell you, in 2022, How were your holidays? Happy in 2022, the decisions you're going to make right now in this meeting will form what your 2022 end of year Christmas will be like. Is it going to be amazing? Is it going to be outstanding? or it's going to be the best ever. I'm using Christmas to mark the end of the year, like to, mark, to give a marking on the end of the year. By the end of 2022, ladies and gentlemen, what will be your story? Would you say, this is my best end of year ever? Is that what you're going to say for yourself? If that is what you're going to say for yourself, I tell you, it starts now. It starts now by you having that belief within yourself that I have what it takes to make this happen and I'm going to make it happen. I want to start living a life determined by the choices I make, not a life no longer determined by the income I make. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you with this. We are going to meet a lot of people as we go into the year. So many people who are ready to deal with our business, who are ready to run and write a new narrative. We show them the path. But when you come across, across ignorant people telling you otherwise about what the business will do, these are my two pieces of advice to you. Number one, if these people ask you nicely, trying to know more, trying to be empowered more about what our opportunity can help them do, what do you do for them? Educate them, draw them close, and show them how far we have gone and where even bigger we are going to. 
But listen to this. If any of them comes to you arrogantly, like, what is this crap you're doing? This scam, what is that thing you're doing? My brother, my sister, because you believe in the power of what you're doing, because you believe in the power of who you are going to become, the best thing you're going to become, working this business, arriving and achieving the vision, my advice to you will be, Call them calmly by, them, by the side. Don't even let somebody hear it so well. Just call them closely and tell them this. If the name of this person is John, tell him, John, I understand you feel what I'll do is a scam, but I will advise you never to say this in public because it looks very stupid. Thank you very much and see you at the top. Thank you, everyone. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was quite um that was quite a dose, a full dose, a full dose, especially the story from 50 cents. Wow. Shopped a Ferrari, latest Ferrari, shopped, <laughs> then a Bogini Aventador, shopped two Rolls Royce for Christmas. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, our business can give you that. As a matter of fact, this business have raised the highest number of millionaires in the whole of history. The highest number of millionaires is responsible for raising the highest number of millionaires in the world as we speak. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our best year yet, and get ready for the next week I'll be bringing up shortly. But very quickly, let's appreciate the Great Achievers Mentor, uh, Ambassador Vinny Wonsu, for delivering those stuff and those strategies to us. And uh, now, very quickly, leaders, before I bring up stage, uh, the entrepreneur mentor himself. This, the, I hope you guys can see me. You can see me. Yes, you can see me. Okay. The longer waited time is here. The time to hear from the entrepreneur mentor himself. Now we have about 30,000 persons already connected to the Facebook group. So people are finding it hard to join. With us at this moment, I will encourage you to open up your Zoom links and stream this meeting immediately. Start streaming it immediately because we're about to bring up the entrepreneur mentor himself that will be showing us the roadmap for 2022. Are you ready? Are you ready to receive the roadmap for 2022? My belief became so strong the first time I entered a Mercedes-Benz ML350. And that Mercedes-Benz was the Mercedes-Benz of the Entrepreneur Mentor, black ML350. I drove it around, came back to Shaman Plaza and packed it. It was like paper, it was like foam. As soon as I entered back to my car, it was as if I was suffering, struggling with my Honda. And I asked him, I said, boss, can I get the same car? He said, yes, you can get the same car. And I put my effort and start with the mentorship and all that. And within one year, I was able to get exactly the same car. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever you have seen, whatever you have heard today is possible. With a standing ovation, everybody. Turn on your video, with a standing ovation, everybody, wherever you are. Let's make welcome the man that God has used to bring this vision to fruition as it gives us the roadmap for 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the entrepreneur mentor himself. I present to you the visionary of the C2NFG, the visionary president, the founder of the Amazon project, the founder of the OILAS project, the mastermind behind the Feed the Family project. The entrepreneur mentor himself, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Ambassador Dr. Michael Okongi. Welcome, boss. Welcome, boss. Welcome, boss. Thank you very much. Please confirm if you can see me. Confirm if you can hear me. We can see you. We can hear you. You're looking good. Ah, boss, this is your suit. I might have to say hi to your to whoever is doing your dry clean. All right. Happy New Year to everybody. Happy New Year, happy 2022. Uh, for most of us, I, I, I brought out a press release um, on New Year Day. Um, somebody was able to transcribe it. So after this meeting, I'm going to send out the transcribed um, version for people to read. And um, I want to say happy new year to everybody. It's it's with a deep sense of gratitude that we welcome this new year 2022. I also want to say this, a lot of us, a lot of people started 2021, but are not here to see 2022. A lot of people started 2021 healthy, 
but they are battling for life as they enter 2022. Just a few days after Christmas, I had the news. One of my very close friends could not make it to 2022. And at first I was sad, but instead of being sad, I began to be grateful to God. After 2021, healthy, but they are battling for life as they enter. We need to learn the art of being grateful to God for the gift of life, for the gift of health. There are so many people, they can't eat, they can't, they can't run, they can't do the basic things, the common things you think is common. They can't. They can't. There are some people, they cannot eat sugar, they cannot eat salt, they cannot eat protein, they cannot eat carbon, they can't eat anything. Doctors told them, don't eat sugar, don't eat salt. Don't drink hot water, don't drink cold water. So, what am I doing? But you, you can eat anything as you choose. You can walk around anywhere. You are breathing. Some people need oxygen, oxygen mask to breathe. You're breathing. You sleep and you wake up. You're normal. Please, let's not take these things for granted. Let's appreciate God for the gift of life. Let's just appreciate God for 2021. The first speaker that I spoke today, um, Dr. Victor Abalson, he talked about the accomplishments of last day. Please, if you can hear me, confirm you can hear me. If you can hear me, confirm you can hear me. We can hear you, boss. They, he talked about the accomplishments of the team for last year. He talked about the accomplishments, the, very, the several accomplishments that were accomplished. I want us to take this time and thank God for 2021, for the fact that you are alive and you're listening to this broadcast. is more than enough to thank God. For the, for the fact you have an opportunity like this business, is more than enough to thank God. I want us for the next few seconds, go to the chat box and say, thank God. Thank God for your life. Thank God for this opportunity. Thank God for the business. You may not have hit your target, but you're not where you used to be. I want us to appreciate God for the year 2021. Because if we don't appreciate God for 2021, a lot of other people ask you to do this for 2022, do, but the ones that God did for you in 2021, have you appreciated him? A lot of us traveled far and wide and you're back in one piece. A lot of us entered into so many dangerous places and we're back in one piece. No news, no negative news, no tragedy. Your family, your loved ones, no tragedy. Even if I've lost anybody, the people who have not lost are more than the people that are gone. The good things are way the bad. The fact it shows the roadmap for 2022. We need to be grateful to God and appreciate God for 2021. We thank God for making it, making it safe, making us come into 2022 safely. And I want you to have a heart of gratitude as we enter into 2022. Are you ready for 2022? Are you ready for 2022? All right. If you're ready, go to the chat, go to the chat box and say, I'm ready for 2022. I am ready for 2022. Go there and say, I am ready for 2022. I am ready for 2022. I am ready for 2022. Okay, um, I, like, I, like I will always say, we have close to 30,000, over 30,000 people on this, on this, um, but Facebook is not allowing more than 2,005. I mean, the challenges are plenty. We can also cannot approve a lot of people because it's a private group. You need to approve a lot of people. So with that thousands of people that can't log in, already on the family group, we're over close to 30,000. And lots of people cannot log in. So leaders are advised to stream it via Zoom. And I'm sure 
very soon we're going to have a meeting where we're going to have the full blown of C2 Energy. We're going to have the thousands of people you know, live, joining us live, like all other ones. We're going to do that. But for now, please get your teammates to join via the Zoom link. Now, for 2022, if you want to be, I'm going to give you the roadmap in the next 10 minutes. If you want to be successful in the year 2022, all you need to do, how many of us want to be successful in the year 2022? Go to the chat box. I want to be successful in the year 2022. I want to be successful. Say it on the, I want to be successful. 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 If you want to be successful in the year 2022, all you need to do is one thing. All you need to do is to switch lanes. That's all. In 2022, all you need to do to be successful is, is not to work harder. No. Working hard is good, necessary. But switch lanes. Get to the right lane. Leave the wrong lane and get to the right lane. Working hard on the wrong lane won't help you in 2022. Working hard in the wrong lane. If you're going to Lok and you're on the road to Lafia, no matter how fast you run, you're on the wrong lane. There are two lanes in life. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. There are two lanes in life. There are two lanes in life. The first lane is the lane. There are two kinds of people in life, and those represent the two different lanes. The people or the lane of the people that are causing problems. And the other lane is the lane of the people that are solving the problems. That is how life is. A group of people are causing problems. A group of people are solving the problems created by the people that are causing problems. That's all. In 2022, you must switch lane from the wrong lane to the right lane. The wrong lane are the people that are complaining about problems. That group of people complain about problems. Oh, this is this. Oh, this is this. Oh, the country is bad. The other lane are the people that are fixing the problems. You may not have been the one causing the problems. The first group of people are the one causing the problems. You may not be the one causing the problems, but you're the one being complaining about the problems. You're still on the wrong lane. The right lane are the people fixing problems. The people that are fixing problems, they don't complain. They are busy. If you, are, if, you are, if somebody if you see somebody trying to diffuse the bomb, he's not talking. Hey, people are shouting, oh, there's a bomb. No, they are there trying to diffuse the bomb, trying to connect the wires. The people that are fixing the problems, they don't have time to complain. The, the time is in fixing the problem. You need to shift from, even if you're not causing the problem, you need to shift from the lane in this 2022. Shift from the lane of people complaining to people that fix the problem. Come out from the lane of people that blame and accuse people to the people that take responsibility. They will never switch lane. You must switch lane. Sw write it down. I'm switching lane. For the people complaining to the people taking responsibility. If you want to be successful in life, you must look for problems and solve them. Look for problems and solve them. Look for problems and solve problems. People pay money in exchange for solution finders. Big problems lead to big money. Small problems lead to small money. I'm going to tell you the greatest problem we are facing in our country today. And that's the problem we're going to solve collectively. 2022. The biggest problem we're facing is that we have more people on the wrong lane than people on the right lane. 
We have more people that are causing problems than, than people that are fixing problems. We have more people complaining than people that are actually fixing. We have more people blaming people, accusing people than people taking responsibility. The biggest problem is that we have more people causing the problems than the people solving the problem. Who are the people solving the problem? They are called leaders. The, our greatest challenge in this world, not just in the country, is the scarcity of true leaders. A scarcity of true leaders. Leaders are the people that take responsibility. Leaders are the people that are own the business. Leaders are people that are not looking for who to blame. There's a scarcity of true leaders. I recently traveled to Dubai, and what I saw shocked me. I saw a country that was a desert. And the group of people came together and said, this country is a desert. Let us make it one of the most beautiful countries in the world. They turned deserts. They created man-made islands. They dredged waters. Tears was coming out of my eyes when I was reading about them. Today, the whole world is going to Dubai. This was once a desert. But there were people that were not complaining. They had leaders that were ready to solve the problem. When the oil money came, they said in the future, the future of the world is not going to be oil. The future of the world is going to be horrible. And they created a heaven on earth. The greatest problem, scarcity of true leaders. Scarcity of true leaders. It's not scarcity of money. We don't lack money in this country. We don't lack oil. We don't lack resources. We don't. In Dubai, there are just 3 million people. And they've turned the world to a heaven. Everything's working. Because they have true leaders. The problem we have is the scarcity of true leaders. The problem we have is the shortage of true leaders, is the absence of true leaders, true leadership. I want to share with you four things that make true leadership. Because this year, our mandate is to build leaders. 2022 is the year of building leaders. Leaders, leadership that will last. You see some people, you see your business, all of a sudden it goes up, it comes down. It's because they are absent of leaders. People are, we're not here to build match, match one on the right, one on the left. Dr. Matthews, hope you're recording, in the name of God, hope you're recording this, 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 this video. We're not here to build one on the left, one on the right. We're not here to build matchers. The problem that your business goes up, you make one million today, you make 10, 1,000 today, you make one, 10 million today, is because you don't have leaders in your team. What you have is matchers or children. Children. C2 Energy is blessed with leaders. Some of them spoke today. I don't encourage these people. They are leaders on their own. That's why we're standing. Leaders. Two leaders that stand the test of time. Nothing shakes them. Nothing moves them. A true leader is not moved by challenges. They move challenges through leadership. What has blessed me with true leaders in C2 NFG, the masterminds, the G leaders. True leaders, children are the ones, mom, me, daddy, daddy, give me food. Everything is not like, yeah, 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 yeah. Leaders fix the problems. I'm going to share with you four characteristics of good leaders. Because in 2022, we're going to build lasting leadership. That's what we're going to do this year. 
Turn men to leaders. I didn't say build men. Turn men to leaders. The vision is to, is to, is to create financial freedom, help people get financial, create leaders that will help people get financial freedom. That's the vision. Turn men to leaders. What are the four characteristics? Number one, first of all, you have to be a leader before you can build leaders. I did not say raise leaders. Very careful. I didn't say raise leaders. I said build leaders. Leaders are not raised. They are better. You build leaders. You can raise millionaires. You can create millionaires, but you build leaders. And leaders are the people that stand the test of time. Leaders are the people that will run the business, that won't go anywhere. Leaders are the people that will not go here or go there. 22 years from now, my leaders are still standing because they are leaders. The first characteristics of a leader is the ability to take responsibilities. Are you somebody that, do, that runs away from responsibility? That's a job. Oh, you are dodging. Oh, no, 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 please. I'm not the leader. Look at this person. Come. No. Leaders this year, 2022, are going to learn to, you're going to take responsibilities. You're going to build people that are taking responsibilities. If there's a job out there, please, I want to go and do it. Take responsibilities. Taking responsibility. People that take responsibility, they don't blame anybody. They don't complain. Imagine a child complaining, mommy, there is no food. I knew the father or the mother is saying, ah, there is, how can the father and the mother be complaining there is no food? You're the one that should go and provide the food. Leaders take responsibility. They're not pointing at kids and saying, my lead, my opponent did not do this for me. Ah, the leadership of C2LG. People should be trying at times now. Sometimes people should be trying, panel. Be trying, panel. Ah, look at all your face here. Look at pro. No, you take responsibility. What can I do to help? One, first of all, I apologize for starting a bit. We have some system glitches. Some people are taking responsibility. What can I do, boss? What can I do to help? What can I do to help? What, some people are calling me. What can I do to? What can I do to help? This is leadership. They're not complaining. Oh, eight o'clock. I've not started. This is eight o'clock. I've not started. Start now. Start now. People are leaving. People are leaving. No, that's not leadership. Leadership is. So what can I do to help? Is there anything what's happening? Can I be my mother? This is responsibility. Leaders do not complain. They take responsibility because if it has to be, it is up to them. They're not looking anywhere. No, no. Who's coming to do it for me? Nobody's coming to save. You are the one that should save the people. We are building leaders that will take responsibilities. People that take responsibilities, they don't cause the problem, they solve the problem. They are not the ones that cause the problem, but they're the ones who solve it. I have one of my mentors said, we're not the ones that brought you upon us, but we're here to fix it. You must be ready to take responsibility 2022 and fix the problems. Year 2022, building leaders. Building leaders. Building leaders. Leaders don't complain. They take responsibility. The second characteristic is leaders are patient. Very patient. A leader is very patient with people. You see, when things are not going right, it's not time to murmur and complain. It's time to be patient and find the problem. And find solution to the problem. We're building people that are going to be very patient. Patient with your downlines. Please don't be patient with disloyal people. Let me say it now. Being patient does not mean if you see someone that is disloyal, you're patient with them. Being patient with the disloyal person is scattering your business. If you see a disloyal person, please do not be patient with them. Chase them out of the garden immediately. Disloyalty kills faster than anything. But outside disloyalty, please be patient with people. People are struggling. People are trying to learn. Please be patient with people. 
Once they're not disloyal, the de- God was not patient with Adam. Once he was destroyed, three out of the garden immediately. Once the devil was destroyed, he threw him out of heaven immediately. But please, you need to be patient with when somebody is struggling and when somebody is being disloyal. But please be patient with people. Learn to be patient with people. Learn to be people. Now, when you're patient, leaders are people that don't murmur, they don't complain. This year, we're raising people that will not murmur, they will not complain. They will take responsibility. Patience. The third thing is resilient. Leaders are resilient. Year 2022, you see, the reason that people succeed is not because they're hardworking, it's because they are resilient. Resilience means persistence in spite of challenges. That's resilient. You you refuse to quit. You refuse to quit. We're building people that are running. I love what Ambassador Nifo said. I loved it. I loved it. You see, to 1FG, I beg you, nobody. Nobody. Why people ruled by vision, not by money. It's when somebody that is being pursued with money, when he faces obstacle. Ah, this, let me go look for one that is paying better. This one is not paying. Ah, for the past three months, I've not made a dime. No. Where people ruled by vision. No money. Dubai was built by men of vision. There are countries that had more money than them, but they're not near where they are. Skyscrapers are like a like can of pep because they were men of vision. And that's the fourth thing I'm going to talk about. The first one is taking responsibility. The second one is having a lot of patience. The third one is resilience. The fourth one is unwavering commitment to the vision. These are leaders that will stand the test of time. Not leaders that will come and if you, you're, you're, I'm even in your team, you should be happy. You should be happy you have somebody like me in your team. What? No. I tell your leader, you should be happy that you have an ego like me. I'm the one pushing your business. That's the play out today. We're building leader, leaders that are committed to it. We're not here to make money, we're here to build a vision. Let me say it again. We're not here to make money. We're here to build a vision. What's the vision? To raise a financially free people who will help raise other financially free people. Or better put, to raise financially free leaders who will help raise other financially free leaders. Leaders are not raised, they're built. So to build a financially free people who lead that, who help build other financially free, free leaders. The mission 2024 is to raise 50,000 multi-millionaires in the connected economy. They may not be leaders, but they are people. That's the vision. Now, we're raising, we're building leaders. You can raise millionaires, but we're building leaders. Leaders are built. This year, we're going to build leaders that are going to be committed, unwavering commitment to the vision. Please, Elijah, Dr. Elijah Mba, please, can you put the vision on the screen? The vision of 2021, uh, City One FG. The vision of City One FG. to raise a financially free people who will help raise other financially free people. This is a vision the leaders must be committed to. You raise the people, but you build leaders. So we're going to build leaders that are going to help raise these financially free people who will in turn become leaders and raise other financially free people. That is the vision of c 21 one mg we're not here to make money. We're here to build people who will don't build people. The mission 2024 is to raise 50,000 multimillionaires in the connected economy. We're a bit far from that number. 
then we are creating a family of millionaires who will use their money collectively to affect the world, but it's just like we're collectively feeding one million families. This is the vision of Seat One Energy. If it doesn't allow into vision, that's what it is. This is the vision of Seat One Energy. This is our collective vision. We're really using network marketing as a tool to get us there. We're not just doing network marketing. We're building a financially free people. Network marketing, our partner AIM Global is a tool because as far as I'm concerned, they're the best. Even if they're not the best, we'll try to stick with them because it's not about which company is the best. It's about the vision that is running the company. They are the best. No company can pay the way AIM Global pays. No company pays every day, daily. No company does that. Yeah, there are challenges, but they are, they, are, they are the best. And we're sticking with them. We're sticking with them. We're sticking with AIM Global and AIM Global alone. We're sticking with them. I want you to know that the leaders that we're going to build are leaders that have an unwavering commitment to the vision, which is to raise financially free people. It's not leaders that are looking for money. It's not matchers. No, no, no. Let me match this one. Let me put this on. No, 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 no. It's leaders that are committed to the vision. We're going to be built. You see, by the time you build, now when the blueprint will come out during our leadership summit, I'm going to unveil building leadership. I'm going to break it down. When you build leaders this year, is the problem the problem if you check your team? Ah, I have 100 people after three during the, during the Christmas period. You see people coming down, it's because they are not leaders, you're not you're building people, you're not building leaders, you're building children. Leaders stand the test of time, leaders weather the storm, leaders are resilient, they are persistent, leaders are not shaking or moving left and right, leaders don't jump from one company to another, leaders commit them, themselves to a vision. We're going to build leaders this year so you can rest. If you don't build leaders, you will not rest. have teammates, have leaders. Build them to become leaders. I'm talking with you to, using a phone, using Zoom, because somebody using Facebook, because somebody saw a problem and solved it. Those guys are the richest people in the world. So there's no way you can be solving problem and be broke. It's not possible. You cannot be giving people water and be thirsty. It is not possible. The goal is not to make money. The goal is to solve problems. One of the greatest problems on earth today is lack of leadership, lack of true leaders. And in 2022, the whole of c 2 it is our year of building leaders. Let me tell you something. When you build a leader in the home, it saves a community. One leader in the home, one leader in the home saves a community. One leader in the church, one leader in the mosque saves the church, saves the mosque. One leader in the village Save the village. But let me tell you the hallmark of true leadership is sacrifice. The hallmark of true leadership is sacrifice. Leaders don't think about themselves, they think about the generation. They don't think about what they can do, they think about the future generation. Dubai is where it is because their leaders thought about the future. They're not thinking about themselves. What will I eat? What will I eat? No, they're thinking about a generation. 
So ladies and gentlemen, in the year 2022, we're here to build leaders. Leadership building is the hardest thing to do. That's why I say build. When you're building, you have to roll up your sleeves, go to the trenches, and build leaders. If your business is nose diving, it's because the people you have there are not leaders. You don't need to encourage, leaders don't need to be encouraged though. If you're always encouraging your people, they are not leaders though. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> leaders are so motivated because if anybody is to fix the problem, the leaders are not looking for somebody to come and encourage me. I'm down. I'm looking for inspiration. I'm looking for encouragement. Those are not leaders. Leaders are the ones that go out to give the encouragement. Who is encouraging me? Who is encouraging the masterminds? Oh. In this year, you see, you're going to build leaders. That's if all you do in this year is to build five leaders, you have done well. If all you do is to build three leaders, four leaders, leave every other person to just be adding for the number. Become build leaders. For you to be a lead, build a leader, you have to first of all become a leader. If you're listening to me, you're not a leader. I'm going to go through the four things again. Be ready to take responsibility. Don't complain. Be patient. Don't murmur. Don't blame. Don't accuse. Switch lane to become a leader. Switch lane from the people causing the problems, the people fixing the problem. Become resilient. Become resilient. Resilient means you don't bow, you don't bend, you don't break. Let me shock you. Every great thing you see standing today stood because they were resilient. They were attacked, but they stood. Don't bend, don't bow, don't break. Become persistent, become resilient. Don't quit easily. Some people have quit. Ah, no, not to you know, blah, 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 and you quit. You're not a leader. Leaders don't quit because quitters don't win. Every time you're, 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 they're calling, they call for a meeting. That, 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 where are you now? Where are you now? No, leaders are the ones calling for the meeting. Leaders are the ones always in the meeting. Be a leader. So you can save your leader the headache of trying to build this. You can come build other people. Be a leader. Then finally, unwavering commitment to the vision. The vision of c one FG is to help other people become financially free. That's what we're here for. Help other people become financially free. Raise 50,000 multi-millionaires. Then use our money collectively to feed the world. Be positive. That's what we're doing. This is a revolution. It's not just network marketing. It's not get one, get two. We're not building matchers. Let me get one. Then someone will pay me. So, because when you're looking for money, when you don't, when you all of a sudden you're not making money for a while, you begin to look for okay, why am I going to make money? But when you're committed to a vision, and the vision is for an appointed time, it will definitely speak for you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2022, our year of building leaders. Building leaders is a tough task, but that's what we're going to do today, this year. Don't be teammates, build leaders. I'm working with my leaders. Sit on every standing because when I came, I built amazing leaders. They are going around to build leaders. Build leaders. It's not going to be a walk in the park, but it's going to be worth it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to promise you. Building leaders is very, very difficult because human beings are human beings. They will backstab you, they will bite you. Jesus had 12 apostles. One of them, inside the 12, betrayed him. One inside the 12, not a Pharisee, not a Sadducee. One, out of the whole world, he chose 12 leaders, 12 apostles. But one from the 12 betrayed him. That's the man being for you. But guess what? It's worth it at the end of the day. It's worth it at the end of the day. Go to the trenches and build leaders in 2022. Forget about the money. Build leaders. These are people that will not complain. These are the people that are solving the problems. They're not blaming anyone. They're not murmuring. They have a positive attitude. They're going to stick in your business. They won't run away. They won't do anything shady. They won't steal. They will stick in your business. You will count on them. Leaders are people that are counted on.
Go to the chat box and say, I can be counted upon. I'm going to be a leader. I'm going to be a leader. Go to the chat box, I'm going to be a leader. I'm going to be a leader. I'm going to be among the leaders I've been counted upon. Not the people that your leader will be begging, attend some meeting, do this, do this. I'm going to be a leader that I've been counted upon. Tentatively, on the 20th and 21st of this month, we're going to be having our leadership summit, the whole of C21MG leadership summit. We're expecting 6,000 people in that leadership summit. It's about 6,000 people in that leadership summit. The place can take 6,000 people. And it is tagged, grass to grace. Grass to grace. The ticket will be out very soon. The ticket will be limited because we're over 20,000. We're over 50,000 people. If we're, going, if we're going to put all of us together, we're about 50,000. But we're going to be only looking for leaders. If you want to be a leader, because I'm in that meeting, I'm going to be unveiling the blueprint. I call it the final blueprint. Blueprint. I'm going to be unveiling the blueprint, the blueprint on how to build leaders and how to become successful in the connected economy. So the two things. Other masterminds that G leaders will be talking as well. You will never recover from that event. 20th to 21st. Clear your schedule. Tickets are going to be limited because we're looking for leaders. If we open it up, 6,000 is not enough. We're going to bring in leaders. It's going to be a life-changing event. 2022, a year of building leaders. Leaders that will stand the test of time. Leaders that will last. Quality leaders. So in 2023, you're not start, we're starting afresh. You can't start afresh next year. Most of us are starting afresh. You, you check your team. Only two people. Only one person. Why? Because they're not building leaders. And also, um, this year... I'm going to be commit, more committed to mentorship. And all the masterminds and cheerleaders, we're going to be more committed to mentorship. The, the whole thing is going to be unveiled during the leadership summit. I'm going to be mentoring people across board. I'm going to be mentoring people across board because we are building leaders. That's what I'm, I'm launching what I call a mindset clinic. Because one of the things about leadership is your mindset. Your mindset has to be changed. Everything will be launched during the summit so that you can, view, you can become a leader and be a leader. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the masterminds and G leader of Sit1 FG, I welcome everybody to year 2022, a year of building leaders. A year of building lasting leaders, quality leaders, leaders that will not backbite you, leaders that will not stab you at the back, leaders that will stand the test of time, leaders that will be resilient, leaders that will have your back, leaders that will be there, come rain, come shine, leaders that are committed to the vision, leaders that are ready to take responsibility, leaders that are patient, leaders that do not complain or murmur, leaders that are resilient, leaders that are are committed to the vision of C2 Energy. If there's nothing you learn today, we'll move by vision. Thank you very much. And I hand over the meeting to Ambassador to close. Welcome to 2022, a year of building leaders. Together, we will build quality leaders. I love you guys. Dr. Michael Okoli, the President of C2 Energy, the Entrepreneur Mentor. I hand over the meeting to Ambassador Fahim Ozani, to close. Wow, so amazing. Thank you so much, Ambassador, our own president, Dr. Michael Okoli. And I would like to use the opportunity too, to appreciate all the masterminds, the strategic um, leaders that have spoken to us. It's been an amazing time here this morning. Thank you so much, um, Dr. Mike. <laughs> Thank you so much for breaking this down in a few minutes. Imagine, this is power packed. So um, I'm going to just quickly recap what he said so that we then close. Um, leadership is important. There are four characteristics of a leader. Number one, the ability to take responsibility. You have to decide that you have to take responsibility, okay? In 2022, he said we are building leaders. Leaders, not drifters. People you can count on. People that are dependable. People that are reliable people that can be depended upon, you know, people that can take things and make it happen. 
Number two, leaders are persistent. Brother, leaders are patient. Leaders are patient with their people. They are patient with the system. They are patient with people who um, need a little time to move from where they are to where they need to be. But we can't be patient with those that are disloyal. Disloyalty will be kicked out, squashed, crushed, because it's like leaving the stake in your house. That's a disloyal person. Number three, leaders have unwavering commitment to the vision. Everything we do is about the vision. It's not about making money. It's not about showing off cars. It's not about houses. All these things will come as a result of us doing what we need to do. It's about the vision. Always has been about the vision. And finally, leaders, okay, leaders are resilient. They are resilient, meaning that no matter what happens, they made up their mind, and this is where we are. And that's why you see that most of the leaders, nearly all the leaders, they are full-timers, meaning that this is the only thing we do. This is where everything comes from. Meaning, if anything happens here, you know, you need to get yourself to that point where this is it. It's either this or nothing else. So when your sheep has been burnt, the captain is killed, everything is scattered, and you are facing an enemy. So it's either you win that war or you die in the battlefront because there's no going back. So these are the four key characteristics of your leader. All right? So thank you so much, Ambassador Mike. All I have to say here is before I say the final prayers and then we go, is that um, there are two things, choices and conditions. You see, leaders will always go for choices. What do I mean by choices? Choices are consequences. A leader knows that if I don't do something, there are consequences for that. If I don't raise leaders next year, I won't have anybody. I will have attrition on the rise. Things will be falling apart. And that commitment of 24,000, you understand? That commitment of raising millionaires will be defeated. That, that commitment of raising 50,000 millionaires by 2024 will be defeated. That is choices. So we make that choice that we have to do what we need to do without needing anybody to push us or support us or empower us or encourage us. But drifters, drifters do things based on conditions. Conditions are if. If the sun shines today, then I will go out and prospect. If it rains tomorrow, I won't do anything. If the sun does not come up, if anything happens, and then if I don't eat tomorrow, you know, everything is about if, I won't work out. If I happen, if I'm not in a good mood, I won't prospect. If I'm not in a good mood, I won't encourage my team. You know, it's always about conditions. So we make up our mind today because what God has given us is something that is so, so, so powerful. And like uh, our president will always say, uh, Dr. Michael Colley, that we are bought instruments in the hands of God. This is a commission given to us. This is a ministry, meaning that we can be replaced. The president can fire any minister at will. Oh boy, you are not doing what I ask you to do. They will be replaced instantaneously. God can replace all the leaders here instantaneously, and we understand that. And that is why this is for us so important. We are running this because we know it's an assignment. This is the vision, and it has to be carried out. It has to be done. It must be done. So, if you look at yourself and you are not seeing the kind of results you want, maybe you're not a leader yet. This is an opportunity for you to go back and create the kind of leaders you want. And you become, you become a creator of leaders when you yourself have made up your mind to become a leader. So thank you so much, guys. Um, Father, we thank you. We thank you for an opportunity to bring the, the entire house that you built for yourself under the same roof. Thank you for bringing all of us together. Thank you for, for for strengthening this house, we've gone through a lot of challenges, but each challenge strengthens us for the next task ahead. We appreciate you that we're getting stronger and stronger. We're watching stronger and stronger. We're moving from levels to levels. We're rising like an edifice. But I will thank you. Some people thought when we started that one, the FCC will come and carry everybody. But then today, we are everywhere, not just in Nigeria, we're around the world. And We've not even done as much as we want us to do. We've not even scratched the surface. But I will thank you. Thank you for the leadership of Central Transform Freedom Group. Because if the, if the head is good, then the entire body is good. We appreciate you for the leaders. So thank you for all part and parcel of this team. We appreciate you greatly. Thank you for the amazing new year you gave us. We are witnesses to a great new year. We thank you for the protection of life. We thank you for safety. Some people cannot do what we do. But you've safeguarded us, you protected us because of the vision. We aligned ourselves with the vision. And there's a protection that comes with aligning yourself with the vision. But I will thank you. We thank you for the increase. Thank you for the monies. Thank you for the influence. 
Thank you for all the things you are giving us. And we appreciate you for all we are going to achieve. The Feed the Family Project, the 1 million, Feed the 1 million, the, all the things we are applying for us this year. Thank you, Lord, for our president, because the Bible says, if you want to do anything, just strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter. And we thank you that he's protected. We thank you that, that you've kept him and his household. We thank you, Lord. And we appreciate you for the big things that are happening for us this year, because this year is, is, a, trash, is, 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 a, is a watershed on the things you're going to do for us. Thank you. We remain grateful. We remain grateful for your love. We remain grateful for all the beautiful things that are coming to us. Yeah, we understand that the devil sometimes will come in, but then we are stronger because he who is in us is greater than he that is in the world. We appreciate you greatly. We thank you. It's all about thanksgiving. We're not asking for anything because everything you have given us to do, we have the ability to accomplish them. We thank you greatly in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, guys, go back to the group and uh, impute, I am a leader. Some of you might need to write, I am dependable. Some of you need to write, I am capable. I can be depended upon. You know, write something, put it down. Some of you, you may need to say thank you to ambassadors. Thank you to ambassador Dr. Michael Coley, because he was one that engineered all of this. So, over to you, Dr. Elijah Mba, the great ambassador. I'm sure you are still there, so you can wrap up completely. Thank you, everyone. Wow, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this beautiful session. It was much, much better than anticipated, and of course, this year we are raising it. As I was talking to some of my uh, leaders at the beginning of the year, I said this year the focus should be on it. I forget about the money. So when Ambassador Michael called me today and said, "This year we are building it," I was like, "Wow, <laughs> wow." Well, the spirit is one. So whatever you do this year, it's about leadership. Forget about the money, the money is going to come. The leadership is why we are here for the year. So go is leaders. First of all, become a leader, then go is leaders. Like you said, take responsibilities, be patient, resilience, and have an unwavering commitment to the vision. To we see again, I wish you all the best. God bless you and have a good day. Bye.